Should I use Facebook or Instagram? What about Pinterest? Is Twitter still something that I could use? What about this TikTok thing? Is Snapchat really dead? Which social media channel should you use to promote your business? That's what I'm going to discuss in today's video. Hi, I'm Lauren Wellington and I'm an entrepreneur that educates people to realize their business mojo. I wanted to do a quick introduction before we actually go to my computer screen. This video, I'm going to share with you a few resources that are online that provide you some analytical data regarding social media channels. And this should help you make a decision for yourself on which social media channel you should use. But before we actually get into that, if you're starting out with your whole online marketing efforts, as well as starting out with your business, I would highly encourage you to pick just one one social media channel do not try to do three or four at a time pick one master it I mean fully master it from the setup to how you're able to make changes your posting all of those different kind of things as well as whatever advertising options that they make available on that channel before trying to add in another channel it's really important that you do that because you will overwhelm yourself, you will wear yourself out, and you will not be consistent with any of your posting. Right now, I really just want you to understand that there is actually research available to you to help you make the best decision on which social media channel is right for you. So let's jump on into that right now. I want to be able to show you today a quick resource to help you understand a little bit more about social media and the social media channels available to you and which ones you could use. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go to, and so we're gonna go to this website called pewresearch.org. Um, I'll put the URL in the video description below, but as you see up here, um, and then they have an annual fact sheet that they produce every year. But I just wanted to go over this particular, um, the 2019 version. Um, so it says here, social media use over time. And so currently for 2018, um, as of January, as of February 7th, 2019, 72% of all U.S. adults are using at least one social media site. And so that tells you if you are considering, should I use social media or should I not use social media and your demographic fits within the categorization of U.S. adults, then the high probability is that you should. Now, let's scroll on down to who uses social media. So this particular um, site breaks it down by age, by race, by gender, by income, education, and community. And so let's start off with age. And so for, and I'll use the chart view instead of the data view, but basically the chart view gives you this glimpse and then the data just actually puts it into um, a, a statistical format for you to be able to easily um, ascertain or discern the information. But let's go to the chart view for, and first of all, who uses social media by age. And so the blue line here is 18 to 29 year olds. And if we go here by February 7th, 2019, 90% of 18 to 29 year olds use social media. If your demographic is 30 to 49 year olds by February 7th, same time period, 82% of 30 to 49 year olds use social media. If we go to the 50 and 64%, then 69% of 50 to 64 year olds use social media. And then if we go to uh, plus 65 and older, that's this group here, 40% of those individuals use social media as of February 7th, 2019. Now, if we look at this chart by race, then we're looking here at those who classify themselves as white, then it's saying here that 73% of them use social media if they classify themselves as black. Uh, ugh, go back, go back, go back. 
if they classify themselves as black then 69 percent of the use social media and if they classify themselves as hispanic then 70 percent of them use social media so that kind of gives you just the indication of ethnicity groups then if we look at gender groups and again this is um information or research compiled for u.s demographics so if we look at um, gender groups, then 78% of women use social media and 65% of men use social media. So these are, um, these are binary groups, right? So this is not taking into consideration um, other conversations ar around self-identification. They're just using the basics, okay? Um, then if we go to income, so if we go to income, I'll look at the data, although I like the screen here, but let's look at the data. This might be a little easier to ascertain. So if we're looking here, they make less than 30,000, between 30 and 49,000, between 50 and 74,000, and then 75,000 and more. So we know those, the big columns. And so if we come down here to 20, February 7th, 2019, then we can see that it's 68, 70, 83, and 78. So 68% of people who make less than 30,000 use social media. People who made between 30 and 49,000 is 70% of that population. And then 50 to 74%, I mean, 50,000 to 74,499, um, that is 83%. And then those who make more than $75,000 per year is 78%. So we know that still it's a significant more than half of the population, regardless of their income is using social media then let's go to education and so those who have high school or less um it's 64 percent those who have some college is 74 percent and those who have um they've at least graduated with a college degree meaning an undergrad degree then that is um 79 percent so it's seemingly that a you know an a person who is employed that has at least some education um, is on social media. We can make that assumption. And then if we go to the last one here where it says community, so they're defining community is pretty much like where you reside. Is it an urban setting? Is it a suburban setting or is it a rural setting? And for those who live in a rural setting, 66% of those individuals are on social media. If it is a suburban setting, then it's 72%. And then if it's an urban setting, then it's 76%. And I'm so that's still, you know, telling you that a lot of people are on social media. Um, and your particular target market or your particular demographics, you can kind of cross section that to be able to really see that they're they are on social media they are utilizing social media but let's keep going down this particular report and it says which social media platforms are most popular so we're going to go with the chart view and their options now this is as you see there's no TikTok on here but we have facebook snapchat pinterest youtube instagram whatsapp linkedin reddit and twitter and so i really want to focus on facebook so facebook if we go here 69 percent of the people who are on social media use facebook okay so this is 69 percent of the people on social media this is not um 69 percent of the population right um, and I'll just let me, let me clarify this, right? YouTube and Facebook are most widely used among online platform users and its users basis most widely represent, representative of the population of the whole. Similar shares of American use of Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So again, this is of the people who are on social media, which platforms are they using? It seems to echo the same the rate of usage of social media, but I don't want this to be confused with that. This is saying that 69% of all Americans are on social media. 69% of all people who are on social media. So this number up here, this chart up here, um, this chart up here, 69% of this 72% is who's on social media. So that's still a big chunk of those individuals, right? 
then we can go to Pinterest. This is another popular platform. And of Pinterest, 28% of all people who are on social media use Pinterest. So you can see that if I had to pick between one or the other, I would pick Facebook. And then if we go over to YouTube, then we go here and 73% of all people who use social media are using YouTube. Um, let's find out Instagram because that's a popular one. And Instagram is 37%, but you can see that Instagram has been on a steady you can see that Instagram uh, has been on a steady um, incline, right? They've been increasing every year um, with the use of what the people who have been utilizing Instagram. But what, when they when Pew has been collecting data to do research on, they started in 2018 with YouTube, and you can see that although it's seemingly flat between 2018 and 2019, it's still the highest ranked amongst all of the social media channels. And I think that that's really kind of important. And then Reddit is the least, but they're just now being tracked in 2019. So that's also important to just notice. And then Snapchat, we can you can see that there's a decline here. You're not really, can't really catch it too well. But there's a decline here with it being 24%. Again, TikTok is not being captured in this particular report because it's 2019. But I'd imagine that where as Snapchat is declining, TikTok is increasing. All right. So then we go over to how often Americans use social media sites. So of the people who are on social media, how often are they on the channel? And so that's really important for you to know because if you're choosing to use social media as a platform to assist you with um, your marketing and promotions efforts, if you know that your ideal customer is only on social media once a week, then your posting doesn't have to be um, daily it can maybe be a couple times a week or it could be um, once a week but if you know that your ideal customer is on the channel daily then possibly you might need to up your posting or up your interaction or up your engagement to be um, most effective with building a rapport with that potential customer so let's look at this here so it's saying daily use Okay, so the individuals that are on, let's look at YouTube at the bottom. The individuals that are on YouTube, about 50% on of those individuals check it daily. If we go to Twitter, it's just over 40%, 42%. Instagram, so even though Instagram is it's 63 percent so they're really checking it daily we go to facebook they're definitely checking it daily with 74 percent so let's come back up here and just kind of put that together if they're on facebook then 69 percent of the people who are on facebook you can infer that they check it daily that's 70 that 74% of that 69 are checking it daily. So more than half of the people who are on Facebook check it daily at least. More than half of the people who are on Instagram are checking it daily. More than half of the people who are on YouTube are checking it daily. Less than half of the people who are on Twitter are checking it daily. So I just want you to see that. When it comes to weekly, then we're looking at a, a bigger group. So weekly, oh, stop it. right? Week, weekly, oh, sorry. 32% of the population is checking YouTube weekly. 29% of that population is checking it weekly. 21% weekly, 17% weekly on Snapchat, and then on Facebook, 17%. And then less often, we click that demographic. So 17%, so all of these, almost 30% for Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and then Facebook. So what we can infer from this particular slide is that the individuals who are on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter are checking at least once a day, right? We can infer that. And we can also infer that the people who are on social media of the population they're on youtube and they're on facebook with a big gap with the next one being instagram so they're on facebook they're on youtube and then there's a big gap and then they're on instagram 
So that would tell me that if I wanted to figure out what social media channel to use, I'm going between Facebook, I'm going between YouTube, and I'm going between Instagram. Those are the three top choices. If my particular product um, was for, I want to go to um, age, sorry, age and income. If my particular product was for individuals who are 30 to 40, between 30 and 49, 82% of that total population is on Instagram, um, uh, is on one of those three. Of those three, of that total population, of all the 82, all, all the people who are 30 to 49, 82% of that population is on one social media channel and then i can infer of those, of those social media channels it's one of the three right so that if that was my age demographic if the person who um if my ideal customer um had uh income of sixty thousand right here right here in this group right here i could go and say that well, 83% of those individuals who make between 50 and $74,499, that 83% of those individuals are also on social media. And I can still infer that those individuals are still using these one or three channels as their preferred choice. So how often, and then I'm saying that they're seeing the, they're on these sites daily, that they're checking them at least once a day. Okay, so this was just a, a particular resource that I wanted to be able to show you um, just some information about social media and information about the use of social media to help you understand how best to be able to make a choice on which channel to use and how it can be applied to your business. Again, this website is called the Pew Research Center and they have a lot more information on here. Um, you can see some of their headings. Um, let me come over here so you can see those a little bit better. Um, let me just go back here. Oh, I did a thing here, social media. So you can see here, um, they have a lot of different, we can filter by topic and there's over 250 posts that are available. And then we can go, hey, website work with me, not against me. Um, sorry. So there's different articles here, like this one here, how smartphones and social media use relate to social network diversity. We could, you know, emerging economic smartphone and smart, smart, smart media users have broader social networks. I mean, there's a lot of information that you could glean from this particular research institute just on social media alone. I mean, it has other topics you see here, U.S. politics, media, social trends, religion, internet, um, Hispanics, science, let me make this a little bit more, uh, global, uh, and then how they're collecting their data. So there's a lot of information here available to you, but I just really wanted to highlight that one little fact sheet that I did. And I'll put the link in the description below so you can really get that. But it's very clear to me that if I had to choose, I'm going to get on social, if I had to choose a way to be able to communicate or promote out my business or to build community around my business, I'm going to get on social media. I'm going to either use Facebook or YouTube to be able to do that. Um, and I'm going to do my best to try to post daily on those channels to be able to interact or at least stay top of mind with my particular um, with my particular demographic, my target audience. That is definitely what I'm going to do. All right. As a wrap up to this video, I just wanted to reiterate a couple of things. First and foremost, the links to those websites are in the show notes below. So you're able to go to those sites and peruse that information, you know, to be able to make the best decision for your business. Secondly, please pick one social media channel. I cannot emphasize enough Putting your effort into one social media channel is so much better than spreading yourself thin over several channels. Once you've mastered one channel, then by all means add in another one, but do not start off with one or do not start off with more than one and you are just beginning your marketing efforts. It 
it's not going to serve you well. Trust me. You're going to spread yourself thin. You're not going to be consistent. And then you're going to wonder, well, why is it not working? So pick one channel. And then third, if you found this information helpful, then please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, no matter how big or small, please ask in the comments below as well. And I will get back to you. All right. Until next time. Bye.